it was like he just sent off the dog to die. Look at look at this. Yeah, go go and whap it. It's calling him up. Oh, but also there's a cheerleader. Hey, hey, hey whoa, whoa, whoa. There, yes, 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 yes. Are you hitting it? I think you're missing it a little bit. Right, so if I do this. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm hearing you try something. So, can I turn the shields? I don't know how that works. You can try. This is a safe environment to try it. Because, remember, when you unmask is when they'll, they'll switch. So, so that's... I think you're going to kill it if you do that, but I don't know. Maybe just maybe just go over there and do it like a tiny like a tiny like mask and then crash, so that way you can just immediately try again. Sure. Okay. Well. Oh, and don't forget it has a shield. <laughs> uh, yep, it got it. It got it. Okay, usually, usually, normally it says cute, but all good. Well, shoot, I think I, I'm actually still a little bit unclear if the dogs actually can collect those. Yeah, that's fine. Crash, cra crash, crash, burning rush, crash. Dude, Legend of Dragoon was great. I understand that it was maybe a little too Power Rangers-y for some people. You're the one that complained about the Power ranger -ness. No, no, I just pointed out to you once that that's something that people said. God, they're such good dogs. They are good dogs. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that limiter bonus is actually non-existent, so you should maybe just turn it off for now. Good call. All right. Wait a I do like that he's he's just like what are you doing? Like that like that doesn't make sense. What so is it normally like 30% or like 6% or something? Uh it depends. Each each limiter is different. So some limiters are way more intense than others. So like 2% is just a 2% increase in experience. Uh yes. Okay, that does seem high rise is dead ahead. Very small. Across the canals. Also, there are cyber birds, it seems. Cyberds. Surds. Uh, if you were if you're pointing out a single cyber bird, you would say this is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Much nicer. Still life. got it. Mm, no, yeah. You don't. Oh, you don't. oh yeah. Neither do you have it, nor have you ever acquired it. <laughs> oh, 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 brutal! Check out the high rise. Oh, being watched. True. Oh. Hey there, little guy. Oh. You lost. No. It's. Are you gonna try to kill that process? They're evil. Damn, dude. Oh, I can kill the process. I think I think you can kill it. Wow, I kind of had a beat going there. By the way, something uh, to keep in mind is oh, that... Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. So undo. So if I mask... Yes. There you go. Of course, not all of them are going to hit it, I think. Whoa, whoa. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind is that your damage output right now is a bit limited. Oh yeah, also don't get hit. They're they're like little chicken buddies. Um, so you are kind of limiting your battle potential by having breach or by having damn it by having crash, but then not a second attack thing. And the reason why that's limiting you is because you're not getting the bonus damage that crash gives. Is it not hitting it? Uh, yeah. Also, remember, sometimes it lies. Don't forget the dogs, yeah. So right now you have three support functions. It might be good to ditch one of your support functions so that you can do more damage with the crash bonus. Hey, get back here. Also, I do like this is when we get the silly accordion music in the game. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I guess they've been named Cluckers. They're called Cluckers. They cluck. Here we go again. All right. All right. So, so now you bounce. can get Bounce or Load, one of the two that you missed out on earlier. Uh, both are great. I like the idea of... Hmm. Can I, I, can I bounce and then put Spark into Bounce? So every... Yes. Spark... Yes. Every, great. I'm going to go with Bounce. <laughs> Uh, so oh. now passive bonuses from functions. Oh, yes. Now you can use your passive slots. Wow. Or I think you gained one passive slot and also I can choose now the passive slot. <laughs> so the process will strike with twice as much power or the process will sometimes spawn twin cells when terminated. So so these are these are limiters. Notice that user level bonus 2% and the other one is. So I should get the one that doubles my XP. Well, look at the other one. See what it does. The process will strike the twice as much power. So, one of these is more extreme than the other. Because generally you can pick up every cell, no problem. But don't I want cells? Don't cells give me XP? No, they don't give you XP. Killing an enemy gives you XP. Oh, I super misunderstood. Okay, that's all right. I, okay, because we're, I was getting 10% for each cell that I picked up, so I thought cells were the experience drops. That's why I was getting so anxious about trying to get them. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, you're, you're just getting the cells so they don't respawn. Perfect. Yeah. I understand. I think either's fine. Either limiter is cool. Uh, either one. Hmm. Oh god. This one. Okay. So the process will strike with twice as much power. It's getting a lot of power. <laughs> Street should be back. <laughs> yeah. Here in Cyberland. Cyberland. Cyberland? Cyberland. No, 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 Cyberlin. <laughs> I think you became unmasked. I did right at the last second, unfortunately. Yeah, it's okay. It's a little embarrassing, but it's okay. I wonder if the crash increases the bonus. Damn, it makes bonus damage from the bark. Oh, so you might you might ice climbers them. Oh, into into each other? Well, I mean like you're hitting them one way, the dogs are barking them the other way. Oh, you totally ice climbered them. God. Fascinating! Did you see that? The weeds will not attack the fr the doggos. Oh, uh, it's because they're so cute. Who's that cute doggo? Oh, oh but shit. they they do love killing you. Hey, this is that process you fucked up earlier, you monster. Well, time to finish what I started. <laughs> All right, remember one one pro one crash will kill it, right? Oh yeah. I do like with the dogs that they're able to run way further than you. It's kind of cool. You might want to just focus on the one weed also. Oh know. crap, you're right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And then, so you're gonna get your one crash, and then well, crash the weed twice. Well, I mean, crap, no, hold on, hold on, sorry, sorry. Go back. Crash the clucker. <laughs> Now crash the weed twice. <laughs> God, this game. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh. Oh, you, you made the weed a friend. Oh, it seemed like the weed was trying to hurt them. Made him mad. It's because I was nearby at that time, I think. Maybe. Okay. Uh, I think there's a terminal up there. There is, but I want to use the access point. I, I want to get I want to get switch off of my thing, <laughs> dude. And it's all lit up when you use all of them at once. Oh, oh it's it so all super cool. crazy. So, so actually, can you go back to the limiter for a second? To the limiters. I, Let me re sorry, let's reveal the limiters. Ah. Revealed. So, the limiters, in my humble opinion, uh -huh. are one of the coolest and most interesting ways to alter the difficulty of your game. Okay. Right? Because it's not like enemies just have more health. It's you get to pick and choose the way to increase your difficulty. You can make it as hard as you want it to be in ways that are tangible and make sense. Right. This is a great difficulty system. More games should have shit like this. Mm. Also, mm. it's just cool. It is ah. cool. Ah. Okay, I'm done. God, what game just added that? Um, Pyre? No, it wasn't Pyre. Well, I it mean, was... it was, but, but also... No, uh, I mean, another game as well. I mean, I think Assassin's Creed just added that. Maybe. A custom difficulty setting? 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Or it's like some things you turn on different things specifically. Yeah, interesting. Which I think the industry is generally moving that way. Hmm. So especially after Sekiro came out and there have been a shit ton of difficulty discussions. Uh, so keep in mind, you only have so much memory. So I should get rid of... Get rid of Switch. What's that? Maybe Mask also, honestly. Uh, they were both hooked onto one thing. Yeah. I can play around with this, so things I can equip onto that. So, nice. bounce will spawn chaotic jumping spark particles from each target struck. Okay, so that's kind of a gimme, but let's, for the sake of hearing everything else <laughs> out. Uh, bounce oh. will deal greater debt backs of damage to targets. Okay. And then, you know, you'll chain, charm. you'll you'll make everyone on your team. There are funny moments where it's really easy to charm, like, all six enemies at once or something like that, and they just <laughs> stand around like assholes. <laughs> Um, keep in mind your passive slot. So, like, what happens if you put mask on your passive slot? Stealth on target um, elimination for two seconds. That's really good. That's pretty cool. But look at some of the other shit. I think it's full. Spawn a friendly bad cell when uh, retrieving cells. That's oh. pretty cool. Oh, yeah, your memory is... Oh, that sounds really good. So what I need to do... But, but also, like, look, try jaunt. Like, look at jaunt in your passive. Recover more quickly after each turn. Cooldown speed 125%. Okay. Which is ridiculous. So I think this is what needs to be there. You want bad cells. This needs to be back on this. All right. Uh, and so then your I need to re-equip John. So okay. you're, you still have two dogs. Yes, you only have so much memory. I What I would do, I would take a Breach. Uh, I would take Breach off of Crash. Okay. I would put John on. And then do you have something to modify that? Such as uh, mask, which you could put not even on jaunt. You could put it on something else, like a, like you could put it on. Um... No, I'd say bounce would be good, right? Because you want to crash them and then do extra damage with bounce. I see. Right. That the whole point of crash isn't to do damage with crash. The whole point of crash is to do it once and then make all the rest of your attacks stronger. Okay. So I should now. I'm activating my guys, warping behind my opponents with jaunt. Attacking with crash, then bounce. Hopefully, bouncing onto other people, which will then get more backstab damage. Yes. And then my dogs are attacking people, and then picking up the cells, which, if I'm correct, will cause friendly cells to appear, which will make good cells, right? So, Chaz, this is a really cool game, isn't it? Interesting. Yeah. Although I feel like I'm misusing all of my my data because I'm not using all of it, but whatever. Well, I mean, I, 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 you will get more memory. Terminals will I? Well. I mean, it's so kind of expensive, aren't it? Blue skies are a choice. choice. Help create an unforgettable quarterly solstice by choosing your favorite evening sky color. Oh, fun. Popular color choices uh, include cobalt blue, deep red, sea green, or burnt orange. What's with the, what's with the red? That was a good... Still the best. You and 13% of residents selected deep red. <laughs> deep red? Deep red. You and 13% of residents chose apocalypse. Well, I mean, her name is red. Well, is this a role-playing game, Tony? No, no. Not her, a role-playing game. But her name isn't Deep Red. Well, it is now. Ugh. It's like Punished Red. <laughs> Venom Red. Venom Red. They call Make me Red Iguana. <laughs> I'm, oh, no. Ugh. I see you. I see you trying to use a marketing technique there. But that's really more of a shilling technique. They call me the Schiller. <laughs> the Schiller! <laughs> so, bounce. How do I know what bounce will hit? I don't know, dude. Let's find out. I, I would hit that. Y yeah, I, you know, honestly, hit hit either of them. Point point at two separate targets, and let's just see what happens. Oh, that time it worked. I guess the angle was right. Sure. Okay. Oh, because he crash bounced. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go crash ahead and try bounce. it. Well, let's. Oh, right. Do not forget the cute dogs. You only need one. But they can't recharge until I get both, so. I don't know. They might be able to autonomous, autonomously do stuff. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Wait, so, okay, so, uh, in order to find, okay, we have a lot of experiments going on here. Chaz, I'm gonna watch the doggo, okay? And I'm gonna see if they're autonomously doing stuff when, while you're recharging. You use all your meter right now. Okay. And then you watch what happens with bounce. Yeah, just, just fucking bounce off into the, oh, okay, well. All right, I'm gonna try to watch the doggo. We'll, we'll see what fucking happens here. <laughs> Jesus. That's, that's, hey. yeah, all right. Okay, so Bounce is going all over the place. You're behind something. Uh, yes, the doggos have their own separate bar. Ooh. Okay. Uh, don't forget, you'll have to take out their shields. Um, and you'll have to pick up twice as many. Of which you are well equipped with bounce at the moment, so you'll want to crash. Yes. Um. I would. Yeah. Yeah, that was fine. That was fine. Okay. All right. So good. I can't do that thing yet. So perfect. All right. So just bounce that when you get a second. Oh. Oh, interestingly. Oh, it broke it for me. That is interesting. Size. Sure. It's fine. Oh, but it's just going to heal that thing. No. Oh, those are your friendly bad cells. <laughs> I like cluckers because they're just these little cowards, but they're also mortars. <laughs> they will kill you. What is a coward but a mortar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really more of a mortar technique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like these dogs a lot. I think I'm going to be keeping uh, summon with me for some time. Well, so, so that's great. I do think you should, just for experiment's sake, modify them. Like, see what happens if you put, for instance, bounce on well, a dog. I was to say, I mean, just keeping that as an active. Sure. I really like yeah. it's an active, I mean. I honestly have no clue what just happened, but... Don't worry about it. Oh, it hates it. So it's hard to tell exactly what the bad cells are contributing, but they're doing something. They're there, and it's a thing that I don't need to think about, right? On, they will do do help. Hey! They will do not crimes. Is anyone out there? That's what we're calling help from now on. Wait, what? What's it? <laughs> not crimes? <laughs> I'm really curious about bounce. Okay. Bounce is cool. Maybe not for Oh, 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 he was commenting on bounce and how you slide forward on your knees. Shiza. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. All right, then. Oh, yes, by the way, I don't know if y'all caught that, but uh, Chaz has been replaced by German Chaz, his stronger, more powerful form. Mm -hmm. Jump damage reduced, friend life 200%, and bark jumps five. Uh, Cool. Cool. Mm. Yes. Mm. Um, j check out what some other stuff like uh, like what does breach do and like on your dog. So Our range. A hardy Jesus. friend with longer attack range and more turn planning. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. So 130 percent turn planning. Um. Yep. Oh whoa! Did you see that breach on jaunt? It'll damage any target along the user's trajectory, doing 60. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So, yeah. So it does more damage than, uh... Or what does Breach do as a passive? It just reduces turn planning. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I think Breach on Jaunt could be pretty cool. And God, what does Bounce do on... Sorry, what, what does Bounce do on passive? Uh, gain a deflecting shield that negates damage to the user. Pretty good still. And trash darn. Pretty nice. Yes. And then you can throw a mask somewhere. Mask is nice in that you can just kind of put it on something because it costs one. I do think it's good on bounce. Like, I think it's doing a surprising amount of extra damage. Yeah. 
Then I have an unupgraded dog, though, which is unfortunate. What does mask do on dog? Mask on dog? <laughs> Once again, we have the made-up language happening here. Help with summon a hearty, disappearing friend that deals greater backstab damage. That's great. That's greater good. backstab damage? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Good. There we go. I'm not wasting any of my RAM, I don't think. So, interestingly enough, I can now attack even when I'm recharging. Yes. Yes. This will do damage. Oh, it looks cooler. It has a blue... Friends. Oh, yeah, you're going to want to get out of here. Run. Just run. Yeah, like, run super fucking fast. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Made it. That was 50 of them back there. Maybe more. Yeesh. Maybe you shouldn't shout out for help. Red. Have a look out there. Wow. Toward high rise. So, do we, the, do we, do we explain what the process is? Yeah, Hold on. Mm. The camarada. They ripped this whole town apart. To get us. Or to get away. So the camarada are using the process in some way or another. It's in a sandbox. Oh, sandbox. We? Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Yes, we shall. More of those doors opened up. How about we shut them? Oh, what does the den do? Oh! Hey, Luna. Can I call you Luna? Luna! Luna, fetch. <gasps> you can play with your dog. <laughs> Have you seen the Twitter? Oh! Have you seen the Twitter accounts? Uh, can you pet the dog? Oh, uh, for um, God, for Into the Gungeon. Uh, well, they they I think they remarked in on Into the Gungeon, but. In general, it's a Twitter account that looks at various video games and just says, yes, in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can pet the dog. Or, or like, in, um, I don't know, in Persona 3, you can't pet the dog. No dog petting. Which is surprising. You might you might be able to pet the dog in some random cutscene. I don't know. But usually not. So we have a planning test. I'm going to try to test this planning. I assume this is like a single turn. You have to like destroy everything using various functions. I like these a lot. <clears throat> so you have one one turn to terminate the process. Yep, there you go. One at a time. <laughs> you have to check. <laughs> Do you? Yes, good. Soon they will die. Huh. Oh. Wait. Never mind. Neat. Yeah. That one was like farcically easy. It was. Importantly, your limiters don't affect the training. I, I don't think they're even on during the training. Yeah, lots of sweet music. Yeah, that was pretty sweet music. Also. It's now time to talk about one of the thing, greatest things I, I appreciate about this art direction. Okay. So in in a lot of the of the art for this game, you see Red cradling Wait, the transistor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which you know obviously is like her her like you know ex boyfriend or husband or something, yeah. right? More sand. Well, no, I mean I, I mean ex in the sense that he's Try dead. <laughs> but but it makes for such strong art of of Red holding this giant ass sword. Oh yeah, it shoots a, it shoots a charm beam. Fascinating. Um, it, of the, of Red holding this giant ass sword, but like off. cradling it, and it's just such a strong image of just like lovingly holding just this silly sword. I don't know, it's cool. Yeah. You're probably gonna want to kill those things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This is the this is where switch is like where it's at like you should mostly be switching these things. I think Yes. I don't know if that's gonna hit them it it did great I also do like how they're just kind of skittering around Yeah 
You'll probably still need to damage some of them, but yeah. But eh. God, you can see, you can switch fucking just all of them. It's not gonna damage them if they're. Oh, I see you're crashing, crashing. Gotcha, gotcha. What's that? Do you have a good impression of that weird alien on Tatooine in the first Star Wars movie? There's that, a lot of weird aliens on Tatooine. Hold, hold on. It's the one that after, right after the cantina, it betrays them to the stormtroopers. Oh, the snorkel guy. Elephant dude. Yeah, like, like, yep, top, yep, top. Or something like that? No, I do not. Okay. That's all. That's all. Also, can you scoot a little bit to your right? I know. I know. Shit. Every time I ask Chaz to slightly modify his position or the or the microphone position, I feel uh, yeah. There we go. Move Perfect. the microphone away a little bit in retaliation. That's how we do. It's been like some st a fair number of years at this point, Tony. I mean, yes. Solid. Nice. Got one. That jerk will be a very valuable ally. Will it? Although, I guess you're kind of doing it right now, right? You're my ally. You're my ally. You're, you're extra my ally? Well, I mean, give it something to kill. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, it's, yeah all right. Is that out of range? There, we go. there you go. God, can you even imagine trying to create the interface for this game? No. Because, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Like, games that would be difficult to design an interface for. This, Into the Breach, um... Probably most games. I feel like UI, UX in general is just uh, really hard. There's a lot more to it than you think about. Like, it's a lot of information you gotta I convey. Keep hanging on. So is this all imaginary? Probably. Yeah, I don't know. It is cool how they gain velocity with each hit. Yeah, yeah, it's a really bad amount of the park. Yeah, I think you can just kind of... Yeah, I think I'm just, like, good now. Yeah. They do get pretty tough later. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, at this level, they're just kind of making you play and think about portals. Video games! Video games! Songs! Ah. I didn't hear. You can't reach me in here. Oh shit! <laughs> ah! Why? So Why were we created to only know that we have to kill this thing to exist for longer? <laughs> the process. The process. And I don't think we've tried this third door yet. If this is gonna give us an edge, then we might as well. This is practice test. Uh, oh, oh no, don't. Go door number oh. five. I think this is not even for experience. I might be wrong. Yeah, d don't. No, don't, don't. 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 Practice. No, oh, that's no, just for no. practicing with different loadouts. No. Uh, which is pretty nice if uh, between episodes we just want to fuck around one, for a little bit. Round number two. Mm -hmm. Door number one, round number two. Ready when you are. Alright, so I have now whatever the fuck A is. Whoopsie. Yeah. Sometimes games will just do that. Loady, loady, load. What's the what's the StarCraft um, jet player say the ter the Terran oh. jet player like on the fly bye 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 or something like that? Yep. Fun oh. fact: those are all quotes from the dropship pilot in the movie Aliens. What? That's so fun. Yep. And yeah, we're in for some chop. Like every line she says is just a line for the dropship in. That's and great. Then... Uh, yeah. So you, so you have a, a new get. So it that brings them closer to me, I assume. Mm-hmm. It also does a tiny amount of damage. And then this is... That's packet. Explode. But explode packet, so it's immediate. Yeah. Just try it. Oh, because I guess with John, it's on a self-destruct. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's... So this is all about making a packet and snagging them. So make a packet right now. Oh, can you snag a weed? I guess so. That does damage. 
I might be wrong, but I think Get does more damage. The two close... immobile things. Well, no, I think that the further they are, I think it'll do more damage. All right, let's see if you can move a weed. Oh, you can. Oh, actually, you just killed the weeds. That's great. Uh, you're gonna want to grab those weeds. Um. Yeah, you can do that and then explode it. There you go. Just keep grabbing weeds. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, no. That's all right. Uh, well, remember with the young lady, you'll, yeah, you're, you're right. just going to want to explode it. Yep. And then go up to the right and then up to the left to gather the other thing. I think. Or, oh no, she's going to explode into a bunch of bullshit. Which you can then just explode into a bunch of bullshit. Oh, man. Dude, I like load a lot. It has a lot of... Now that I see it, especially with Jaunt, that makes a lot of sense. Well, so what load in a support position does a lot of times is it'll just make things explode more. And in mm. general, that's great. And explosive. And everyone's like, great. It's bigger. Explosive. Yeah, I... Why did that fall? <laughs> I see you're using C4. That's more of a TNT technique. <laughs> I'm so good at things. Yeah. Oh, it's such a doggo. It's like a fire dog almost. Yeah. With. Oh, did you see that in the top right? Come closer. Ideas mold one. <laughs> let's 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 see what the latest is. Uh, All right. Let's let us mold. All cozy here, but what's going on out there? Hmm. Process. I thought it only wanted you. It wants the whole town. The entire town. I'll overlay some, uh, some, uh, trap music. Some what? Or, yeah, not trap music. What's the, the fucking, the music that we've discussed? Lo-fi? Not lo-fi. Uh, vaporwave. Vaporwave. Oh, God. Oh, nice. Just, like, superimpose a Greek statue with that arm right in the middle there. <laughs> That is what the album art looks like, isn't it? No, it, it's a recurring theme. It's just the Greek statue, like the bust. Oh. Is it, is it like an 80s reference that I still don't fully understand, right? So I guess because in the 80s, rich people was very popular to just have like Greek statues. I mean, Greek stuff's all very popular. And, uh, you know, I think it's a recurring oh, recurring series of episodes. So uh, please check out the next episode. That was kind of a bad one. That was and, great. Uh, yeah, we, and if well, you want to hear Tony try again... Please donate to either our to our Patreon linked in the end card description. Oh, so I can have time dedicated, paid time, where I just sit and think about actual think good about channel outros. <laughs> yes, it, so please please give us money so I can just sit in the corner and cry for hours about my sinful past. It's very sinful. Bye.